you know, um, I'm the people's barber now. I mean, I always been the people's barber because of Cold Cuts Barbershop, but uh, um, let me tell y'all something about barber and barbers. Barbers, um, when you're cutting hair, right? I know I'm in the land where fast pace makes you money and stuff like that. But let me give you a jewel on barbering that I know for a fact because my work speaks for itself and I've been cutting hair for a little minute now. Professionally, I've been cutting since 2007. So let me tell y'all something. Um, the quality, when I say don't chase them, just lace them, I'm talking about the quality of the cut. A lot of barbers could cut. There's a lot of nice barbers out here. A lot of nice barbers, like when I finish my work and they finish their work is exactly the same. But what separates me from all the other barbers or other barbers that's nice is the quality of my work. The, the work that I put in on the cut, my cuts last longer than the average barber. You understand? That's why I say I'm a real barber. It's not that I'm better than barbers or, or have more skills or know as much as because some barbers know more than me and have more skills than me but I give real haircuts. Haircuts that are quality and that are professional and they're gonna last you for the week, two weeks. You know, ask my customers, they'll tell you, yo, when I cut my hair, it just stays. It stays long. I can wait a little long. Cause I'm not rushing out people out the chair. Huh? When you cut, when you cut hair and you want people to come back unless they're your customer already and you know their hair and you know their patterns and you know it's a race thing in and out people want to get in unless you have that type of clientele but if you're a new barber and you're coming up or a barber that's trying to build clientele don't chase them lace them you can cut one head a day as long as you put in all the effort in that one head that person will come back but if you're rushing them out the chair thinking that somebody else getting in your chair you could have lost them you know think long term you know i cut slow by choice i could cut just as fast as any other barber if i want to but that cut not gonna be good for me because what i see and what i feel i want my cuts to be is what i want them to be so when i do produce i want it to be quality I want it to be um, where the person be like, damn, yo, my cut is still good. I'm going to go back to this again. Or, yo, O been holding me down for a long time. That's the people's barber. That's the real barber. And I've been saying it so long, I'm a real barber, that I've become a real barber. Although I already was a real barber, but the more I say it, the more I have to step my game up. And that's what I'm doing down here. Because down here, right now, I'm cutting in the gully. You know, I had a few, um, three women haircuts to do this morning before I go to work. And I prefer to cut women's hair and kids' hair because I just feel better cutting. And I feel like they appreciate it a little bit more. And the kids, you know, the kids want to be fresh. So if you give them that quality, they go to school, they're the man. So I want to be that type of dude that give that type of work. And that people say, yo, this dude right here, he's that dude. He cuts me, he cuts me. So barbers, cut. Make sure you're cutting like that's your last haircut. I came up with a phrase, you're only as good as your last haircut. And people been using, people use a lot of my slogans, but they don't realize it. You know, I don't know if they come on my page or they come and listen to my blogs and, and whatever. But they never give you credit for what you give them. But that's cool. As long as I inspired people. And people know what it is. But I always used to say you're only as good as your last cut because that cut could be your last. So make sure you cut like that's your last. I don't care if you rush and make it sharp. And don't rush. If you are rushing, make sure it's the client rushing you. Not because you're rushing to get to another person. Trust me on that. That's a jewel. Don't chase them, lace them. I said that before on a blog. I'm saying it to you again. 
people have called me the people's barber. I, I named my shop the people's barber shop because I felt like we had two barbers in there, me and Frankie, the people's barbers. And we came from shops where it was tyrant um, owners. And we are not like that. We want to cater to the people. So we gave them what they wanted in the shop and the quality of the work. And now I'm here in Jamaica. I'm going to do the same thing because Jamaicans rush. And they look at me. They want me to speed up. I can speed up too. Holiday times, I speed up. But I'm just saying... Nobody's waiting for me. I'm lacing this client so he comes back. It's about who returns, not who's coming to the shop. You have to get people coming for you and only you, not people that just coming to you because you're not busy. You don't want that. You want to, but you don't want to become one of them barbers that customers only come to you because you're not busy. Because when the slow times come around, that's when you know who's who and what's what. When the January time. Because in January time, I've never been slow either. It slowed down because after the holidays, but I wasn't slow. I was always booked out. It's just the level of it. When January time come around, you see your return clients. If you're a barber that just wait for people or people come to you because you're free, you're not going to have no clients during the slow times. You want to cut for return clients. So don't chase them. Just lay some. Carry on. I'm a real bomb.